Sue and I'm back with another K-pop makeup video. If you have known me for quite some time, you may know that I really love Jungha. She's my favorite K-pop artist. Jungha always has unique makeup looks in her MVs and on stage. Recently, she has released an MV named Bicycle and if you watched it already, you may recognize this look. Personally, I think magenta is a really hard to wear color and I never wear it on myself. But today we're gonna recreate this look and let's see if I can nail it. Let's get started! jumped into the makeup part, I've already put on my contact lenses because my eyesight is so bad. My skin has been suffering from some irritations. I had tons of ice cream during Lunar New Year. So today I'll use the Body Shop Rose Fluffy Face Mask. This one really does water to my skin. For this product, you just have to apply a thin layer all over your face, wait about 10 minutes, then wash off. It doesn't take much time, so even when you're in a hurry, you can still use it for instant better skin. I just wash off the mask and you can instantly see that my skin is a lot better. Now I'm gonna add some more moisture to my skin using this rosehip oil from Trilogy. You can see that I use this one quite a lot. Though it's an oil, it absorbs really fast into the skin and doesn't leave any oily or sticky feeling. I'll put two or three drops into the palm of my hand, rub it together like this, and then lightly pat onto my skin. I learned this patting technique from Japanese beauty clinics. It's believed to help with the aging process. Jungha always has flawless skin on stage, unlike other K-pop idols. I think she always seems to have like a matte foundation on her face. So today I'm using this YSL primer to blur my pores and imperfections and mattify the skin. I will use this much. This is so far my most favorite blur primer. Jungha has white porcelain skin while my skin is looking a little bit dull and tanner so I'm gonna tone up my skin using this primer again. I never pumped any product straight onto my face. I think it's a little bit unhygienic. I'll drop about 3 drops of this primer onto the back of my clean hands and use a brush to apply. This just makes controlling the amount of products using a little bit better. Now I use this peach color from the Catrice Concealer palette to cover my dark circles. I've been staying up late a lot, so my dark circle is getting worse and worse. I have some dark spots around here and here. I'm gonna cover them also. For today's foundation look, I'm gonna use a combination of this Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation and the Shoe Petal Skin Fluid Foundation. Both foundations I use today have natural matte finish. The Bobbi Brown one is darker, so I used it on the outer rim of my face, and the Shoe Uemura is for the rest. Place some dots on my face, then use a buffing brush to buff it out. Using two shades of foundation like this would give you a natural shading for a slimmer face.
if your foundation coverage is good, you can use more layers to double up as concealers. I think my under eyes area need to be brightened up a little bit more, so I'm using a brighter concealer. Just two small dots on each side. I will lightly tap them in. For eyebrows today, I'm using a neutral palette from F and using this color to shade in my eyebrows. This F palette is insanely cheap, but the quality is like wow. You can see how good the color payoff is. I mainly use this only for brows. Jungha has thin straight eyebrows in this look. I'm gonna try to create something similar. Today, I'm using a brown color with a hint of red to match my reddish purple here. When you're happy with the eyebrow shade, finish off with a mascara to set everything in place. Then I use some powder. Top of the excess powder before applying it to your face. Dab instead of rubbing the powder so that you won't disturb the foundation beneath. The key point of this makeup is Jungha's eyes. Today I am using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And because the eyeliner and the heart shape on this eye is so unique, her eyeshadow color is kept really simple. Going in with the color Weakener and Stranded, apply a thin layer all over the eyelid. I also use the same color to put on the lower lash line. Take a smaller brush dip into the color Riff. I put this color on the outer corner of my eye, creating a cat eye shape to mimic Jungha's lifted eyes. Don't forget to use a blending brush to get rid of harsh lines. Using a small pencil brush, I apply the same color to the outer corner of my lower lash line. Now, I start creating eye bags with contour. Lightly squint your eyes and use a flat brush to apply contour where you see the line appear. Blend the edges out and use a darker contour. Place it onto the center to emphasize the eye bags. Take the color breakaway and strand it. Apply them onto the eye bag that we just created. I lost the footage of my eyeliner steps, but you can see that I created a long and sharp wing for the fierce look. Then, I add a line of dark brown on my lower lash line to deepen the eye more. This is how I do colorful eyeliners. I take a white liquid eyeliner to create the line first. After that, I take a neon pink color and apply onto the white line. You can simply use this technique to create whatever color liner you want. Taking the same color, apply it to the center of the lower lash line.
Now, moving on to the other eye, I use a pencil concealer to sketch out the heart shape. I use face color to fill in the heart. This type of oil-based face paint doesn't write out completely so we'll have to set it later on. Using the same neon pink eyeshadow that we used, set the face color. I also line the other eye the same way, curl my eyelashes and apply mascara. Be extremely careful not to ruin the work we just did at this point. into small strips and apply them to my eyes. So these are my eyes after I've done with the eye makeup. I also popped on some top and bottom lashes. I'm gonna start shading in my face like normal. I want to keep the shading natural. But since my nose tip is big and round, I still have to snatch it pretty hard. I will also add some shading around my face to make my face look a little bit slimmer. Cause now it's really looking big and puffy and swollen. The eye makeup is already bright and colorful, so I'm gonna add just a little bit of blush. I place the blush diagonally to make my face look slimmer and lifted. Today I'm using a wet and white highlighter. This is such a cheap highlighter, but it works so well. This may be the best drugstore highlighter that I have. The color is gorgeous. It doesn't look chalky at all. It blends out like a dream. There's nothing I could complain about this. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more blush. Her lips are a little bit wider than mine, so I'm gonna overline my lip a little bit. First, I'm gonna use MAC powder liquid and mull it over as a base. I cannot use the magenta color alone. It would look really ridiculous on the lips. I know this looks a little bit orange, but trust me, I'll make this work. Everything that I use will be mentioned in the description box because man, I cannot remember the name or color. Use the concealer pencil to clean up the lip line a little bit. I popped on some face gems and this is the finished look. I hope 
you had a great time watching our video. If you like it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for our upcoming videos. We'll be back every Wednesday. Until then, you can find us at our Instagram and Facebook page. Link in the description box below. Don't forget to stay safe and we'll see you again next Wednesday. Bye!